Hey, Kingwood Church family, thanks for joining us today. I'm with Melissa Van Zandt, our children's minister, and we want to share some exciting news with you, some things that are coming up here a week from this Sunday. Uh, this will begin, and we're excited to share it with you. You know, if you've been in person worship, you've seen some construction taking place just outside the auditorium, and it is complete, and we want to show you that today. But before we do, Melissa, we're standing here uh, with our old system of checking kids in and out. So talk about that just for a moment. So back in 2020, before COVID, we were using this as our system. A kid would come get their name tag. There's two of them that match. This is Levi's. So Levi would have this one and I would take this one. When I pick him up, I would show them and that's the only way a child was supposed to be released to a parent with matching name tags. If you were not a member here, you could come over here and get a numbered name tag of matching name board. tags. Signing in on the board with your information. Um, to check in that way. Now this only went up through second grade. The new system that we're going to go to has labels that will print each week with the parent who is at church with the child, their number, the medical information, what class they're attending, and their parent will have a matching code on their sticker to pick them up in the same fashion. And, and the purpose of this, Melissa, is uh, probably two or three fold. Number one, it's a safety issue. You know, we live in a day and time where we want to be safe with our kids and make sure they're getting dropped off and picked up by the right folks. Um, it's also to help us know things like food allergies and things that, again, could be safety issues. And it's a way to connect with each other, know kind of who's here and who's missing so that we can check on folks, right? Yes, and especially with in case of an emergency, we could print numbers on these tags, but say a grandparent brought a child to church. The new system, when you print a tag each week, could put the emergency contact person that is there with that child that week. So it would never be outdated. Right, and it may sound a little complicated at first, but uh, trust me, it's very easy. Very easy. And you're gonna Check really it. appreciate this and really, uh, it's gonna really help us a lot. So so let's kind of transition now as, as uh, far as over to the new space. And Brett's our videographer today, if that's a word, but uh, <laughs> we'll transition over here. Uh, you can see, uh, that we have a very nice sign that says Child Check-In Center. And by the way, Melissa, this is not only going to be a check-in center, but in the future, probably as we get to the fall, it's gonna be kind of a parent resource center as well, not only for uh, elementary kids and, and uh, down to babies, but also our teenagers. Talk about that yes, for a second. Yes, Brett and I have plans to add some resources in here as your child moves different phases of their life. Um, that you'll be able to check out and look at things that can help you with what phase your child is in currently. We plan to wait till the fall to launch that because we're still in the process of developing it right now. So right now it's just our check-in center. And I can tell you we've seen some of the stuff that they're working on and it's going to be great. It's going to be a great resource center for our parents and, and we at Kingwood feel that's very important to arm and equip our parents with all the resources they need to be successful in raising godly men and godly women. So this is our child check-in center, and, and Melissa, if you want to step over here a little bit, so, or you're going to go inside, and we'll talk about a couple things. You, you'll see here on the sign, and Melissa can talk more about this, but this will be open each Sunday morning, Melissa, from 845 until the start of children's worship. So just before the message, uh, we will have this staffed with volunteers, and then it will also be open between worship and Bible class. So there'll be plenty of opportunities to sign your student in for either uh, children's worship, Bible class, or both if they are of that age and are here for uh, both of those. And then Melissa, what happens if, if somebody comes in you know, after that time and, and wants to sign in but, but it's not staffed? What happens at that point? So it will be staffed until pretty much the sermon because the children are dismissed from worship right before the sermon. If you say you need to take a child to the nursery during the sermon and there was no one out here, the security team that will be out in the hallways will know how to check you in and will be able to assist you if you need that. And then there's two major changes here for our third through fifth graders. Number one, they're also going to check in every week. Uh, but number two, Melissa, they can, if, if you don't want to pick them up from their class, they have the opportunity to sign a permission form to leave on their own. So what, anything you want to say about that? Yes, so since our tags only went through second grade before and we aren't used to having tags through fifth grade, we're going to check everyone in to keep attendance and to have an emergency number on their tag, allergies, 
But if you would like for your child to leave class to come and find you if they're older, then yes, you can sign this permission slip and then a note will be entered on the database that will print on their tag that says, my child is allowed to leave class. So this is going to be very exciting for us to be able to, again, stay in, in connection with each other. You know, that's one of the things that uh, COVID has made it very hard for us to do is stay connected. And this is going to be an opportunity to know who's back in person, who's not, who do we need to follow up with, who do we need to check on, make sure they're okay. So a lot of benefits uh, to this, and, and I know you guys have worked very hard uh, on it. Now we, we've got a very special <laughs> moment. Uh, I have a new child. I don't know if you have met him. Uh, his name is Davey. Uh, I call him, his street name is Davey B. And, and I'm going to get David, Davey B here as he's blowing bubbles. Davey B. <laughs> what, uh, Davey, we're in church. Davey, stop. Is this not COVID acceptable? Well, no, that we're in church. We just arrived. Davey, give, give me the bubbles. Hold on. Just give me Ooh, the bubbles. Ooh, bubbles. <laughs> give me the bubbles. Hold on. All right. Oh, Davey, it popped. Pot. Davey, listen, we're at church. We're going to check you in. You're in the second grade for the 36th year in a row. And we're going to check you Don't in for me. children's worship and for class. Can I have bubbles? Uh, that's up to Melissa and the team. <laughs> they can have bubbles. All right, so Davey, come over here. Let's check in. Hey, Melissa. Hi. How are you today? Good morning. You know Davey? Davey B. That's his street name. So I'm here to check him in today for... Uh, for children's worship and for class, Davy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to search for Davy's name here. Now, Davy, are you going to go to children's worship this morning? What's that? It's our worship we have during Sunday morning worship for three-year-olds through second grade. And since he's in second grade, he can come. I love bubbles. Is he, bubbles? <laughs> well, and, and yes, he's going because I need about a 30-minute break. <laughs> And I want to be able to listen to the great sermons going to be preached without having to wrestle Davy. So yes, he's going to uh, he's going to children's worship. Dad. All right. And then, are you going to stay for Bible class? Yes. All right. So we'll check you in for well, that as well. Do we have snack? <laughs> Maybe. We'll oh. see. Depends. So if you want, you can check them in for Bible class and worship at the same time, so you don't have to come back up here. And let's see. We're going to check you in. It will print you out a label. Cool. That's me. All right. Now, if you'll put the label on him, say? we can show it. Baby B, children's worship in K through second grade Bible class. It gives the time, 9.30, 10.30. And it also lists his allergies. He is allergic <laughs> to growing up. That is true. All right. So, is this mine too? No, no. no. Leave that alone, baby. Leave <laughs> that alone. This is for the parent. The, now, this oh, is probably the... <laughs> we both get stickers. We both get stickers. Both this is probably stickers. the hardest part is to, to <laughs> peel this. Uh, but we're going to put that on baby right there. Let me make sure it's on real good. There we go. And All right. Then, this is the parent sticker. So, if we show that, this sticker matches the code... Turn around, baby. <laughs> Matches the code on the child sticker for pickup, for security purposes. So only the person who has this sticker should be allowed to pick up the child for class. So if I get that, I pick myself up? <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not going to get that. No. Baby. I'm going to get that. <laughs> and you can put it on your shirt, or you could just show it uh, to yes, them, I guess. Yes, whatever you want to do with the uh, sticker. Dad, I'm thirsty. Yeah, I know. Well, that's trash, Dave. Bump it up. So I know we're kind of goofing off about this and having some fun, but in, in, in all seriousness, this is very important. This is safe. This is secure. Uh, you know, you, you, you hear uh, horror stories about, you know, family issues and who's picking up kids at school and who aren't allowed to pick up kids at school. And we just want to do the right thing in a safe way. Uh, so this is why we're doing it for your families. And, and uh, as you can tell, I don't know, Brett, if you've gotten the, uh, the view of this mm -hmm. check-in center, but uh, beautiful artwork that uh, Melissa has worked on and done so well and other folks. Uh, uh, I don't know who all put Percy Pleo, I think, put the floor in. And Norman's done some work over here. Mark Wise done some work. Uh, so uh, just a, a great opportunity to uh, Davey. <laughs> Davey, stay out of the communion. <laughs> stay out of the communion. I told you I was thirsty. <laughs> that, that communion there might make you a little tipsy, young man. So please stop. It's pretty strong. It's pretty strong, absolutely. <laughs> 
Uh, anyway, so uh, what else, Melissa? We've had a good time showing this, but this is an awesome thing, uh, exciting for us. So, uh, These are our current classes that we're going to be offering when we come back on, on January 31st. Um, they were the same <coughs> age range that we offered before post-COVID. Uh, so birth through two and a half year olds, then once you're two and a half to five year olds, a preschool class, kindergarten through second is together, and third through fifth grade will be together. And this will start a week from Sunday. So it's, I don't know when you're watching this, but it will start on Sunday, January 31st. We'll have one adult class that day. We'll have all of our kids' classes going, and uh, this will this will be something that we want you to do. Of course, we have room out here. We want you to obviously, as you're checking in, stay socially distant. Uh, don't get up on, on different folks, but uh, it should be a very quick process, especially as Melissa, as you, as you have them all in the iPad already, and uh, it should be a very quick and easy process. And, and technically, uh, I assume that a parent can come with or without their child, right? Uh, yes, if you have visitors or um, anyone who's not in the system, you can add them to a household. So if you brought a friend with you today, I can add you as a visitor to a household and still print you a name tag. Um, once visitors have been coming while well, we can make them a household and we'll save them in our database. And I'm not sure Davey has any friends, but uh, <laughs> Davey, do you have Davey, you have Add. Teacher likes me in second grade. She's had me for 36 years. <laughs> That's true. I have a question for Miss Melissa. Are you going to be doing this all by yourself? No, I need some volunteers. So if you'd like to Can volunteer, you have to be a you have to be high school or older to volunteer. Um, you can. We will rotate weekly out here. You will arrive at 8:45 before church and stay out here, like this says, until children's worship. Come out here again right after service ends before Bible class um, to help anybody that might need to know where class is and to check anyone in. So that's it. So uh, before Davey gets into some more communion, mm -hmm. I think we probably need to call it a wrap. Uh, <laughs> sign up to help. If you've got any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to contact Melissa. And she'll answer those, but it really should be a quick process. Uh, be prepared for maybe a couple of bucks in the road, first week or two, as we're working the kinks out. But uh, this ought to be really quick and easy and will really benefit us uh, from a safety standpoint and a connection standpoint. So, Melissa, you get the final word. What do you want to say as we as we head out? I look forward to seeing all of you soon. Dad, give me a hug. Uh, Davey, six feet, six feet. <laughs>